Hey everyone, welcome back to Sully's Rosin Customs. Today we're going to change the brake rotors on, or the discs, whatever you want to call them, on this WJ 2004 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Um, the issue I've got is, I'll just swing you around there. The issue I've got is, I've had these discs machined twice, and every time I machine them, I get a real shudder in them after a couple of months. I get them remachined, the shutter goes away. I think they're just some cheap shit. Um, so I bought these drilled and dimpled rotors. Um, do they just BCP brand, Brake and Clutch Pro? I've done the back prior and they've lasted really well. There they are in there. No issues with them. They're running really good. So I thought I'd put the front ones on the same, see if I can get rid of that that issue. So got everything here, got a um, got a stand there in front of the car. Got the impact driver and sockets and ratchets. Got the jack under there ready to go. Got a can of Blue V. It's really hot here today. As you can see, it's probably 35 degrees. Now being parked, clear sky. Probably too hot to do this job, but I'm gonna give it a crack anyway. I'll set this up on the tripod and I'll show you what we're doing. Right, uh, first we'll jack it up. I've already got it under the car, under one of the main suspension. Pivot points under the diff. I'll jack the front up here. Obviously, handbrake's on, there's a block behind the wheel, down the back wheel. I'll get this um, jack stand under the car here somewhere just to a bit of added protection. There we go. So it doesn't fall. Oh crap, it's hot. For some reason there's one, one um, wheel nut different size on this. Just like most of these would do, it's sensible. You can always stick the wheel under the car as well, so it doesn't um, fall on you. Um, have a little look at what we need here. We need, all right, we need a socket in the back of here. I'll tell you what size it is once I, once I find it. There you go, it's 18 mil. A short extension. Let's see if I can bring the camera in there and show you what I'm actually doing. Right, hopefully you can see that. I can't act to put the phone camera right underneath there I can't actually see what it's what it's filming so I might have to get a breaker bar on this one Give me two secs Let's see if I can't get it with this big one this is a over oversized ratchet I got from the from young bloke for Christmas or birthday or something. It's really long. Good for this sort of stuff. Sometimes it's too long. Like now it's too long. <laughs> well, um, just try the breaker bar. See if I can get the length on that one. I think I'm gonna have to Give it a bit of friendly persuasion with a rubber mallet or, mallet of some sort. I'll try the hammer first. It's not an impact socket, so I don't like beating it up too much, but sometimes you just gotta. Fuck that, he's fucking tight, man. That's not coming off in a hurry. See if, I, see if I can turn the wheel and get the impact driver on it. One wheel lock. <laughs> unlock the car.
See if we can get the impact on it. Oops. Another one down there. That made life a lot easier. And that one there, you got to be careful of the of the cable for your another your anti-lock brakes or whatever it is, the sensor there. Um, it has to unclip somehow, right? Let's get that out of there. Yep. There we go. It's just better to move it than to break it. Oh, need a little extension on it. I'll just try and film all of this stuff so if you have any issues yourselves, you know what you're coming up against. Wow, that was very tight. Obviously, when I had a disc off before and I put Loctite on, um, probably a little bit too much Loctite, eh? Now slide the, the, the calipers off. I like to just sit them up the top here somewhere out of the way. Now this disc should, in theory, just slide straight off the end of here, so... There's no jacking hole in it. Um, I'll move this camera back out here now so you can see what's going on. Put it over here. Can you see that? Let me just turn the camera. Alright, so I hit it with a bit of, um, bit of WD-40 or it's actually called um, yield. Penetrating oil. There you go. It's uncracked the, the, the rust bond between between the um, the hub and the disc. All right, I'll um, I'll show you the difference in the two discs now, side by side. So there you go, there's the two discs down there, side by side, 305 millimeter diameter, I think 24 and a half mil thick discs, so um, other than the beating I had to just give it to get the, to get the disc off of that tight up there, and it wasn't that hard. I'll just grab a bit of a wire, wire brush here, just give that a little bit of the hub bit of a brushing because any rust in there can cause your disc to not sit perfect and also then you end up with a vibration that you were trying to get rid of right all right so there's my disc I'll just get some broken clutch cleaner and clean the face on it right uh. Just sit on top of this box here. Not sure if you can see what I'm doing there. We'll just so all I got here is a bit of super cheap auto brake cleaner. Has a bit of oily residue on the surface, and when you get them, don't really want that when you're first trying to get the discs in. And um, also, in the oil on that surface there. Will impact how well the car brakes. Alright, so try not to touch that face again. Put it over there out of the way. Now we're back onto the disc change. So move that caliper out of the way. Which came from over here. There you go, it's back on there. I'm not sure if it's going to fit straight away because the um, the disc is new. The other thing had been machined um, a few times, so I'll need to get I'll need to push the um, piston back a bit. Hopefully, it's back enough. I just felt it move a bit then.
Just stick one of the bolts in loose for now, then I'll get some Loctite. That bottom bolt. Alright. Let me just go get some Loctite. Alright, just a bit of 243 thread locker. You don't need a lot of it. You can see last time, I think I must use the red on here, which is a lot um, stronger. You just need a, whoops, it's leaking out the side. You just need a bit of a dot on there, a bit of a, a line down the side of the, the thread. That needs six litres of it. Line the caliper back up. That hose, the cable. Sorry about my back being there, but. Spin on now. That one there's on. Just loose. I don't know why this Loctite's leaking out the side here, but wherever I get it from, I'll take it. There you go, there's a little bit of a dot on the side. On the bottom bolt up. There we go. Tighten it up. Backed up and then give it a bit of a breaker bar tighten. <sighs> breaker bar tighten with a hammer. You can um Talk it up, you can do whatever you want there. But I like my calibrated hand. Where's that breaker bar gone? There it is there. And that bottom one. And there we go. That's the brake pad for the brake. This just clip that. Um, Yes, sensor cable back in there. Then I'll just turn the wheel back around straight. Take the wheel out from under the car. Nuts back on it, and, and that'll do it. So, let's get these back on here. If you're doing this with an impact, just start it slow so you feel it start to pull. Oh, it's tighten up. Missing, there it is. I don't have one nut missing. I mean, there was one nut not, not in, in the area that I could find it. I'll go around these with the with the bar once I once I get it on the ground. All right, take the stand there from under the car. Lower the wheel to the ground and go back around the wheel, the wheel nuts again. All the lug nuts, so you can see how much it moved just from the difference in the, the impact and the, um, the breaker bar. Probably don't want it too tight, you don't never get it up again. 
but there we go. All right, so there we are. Back on there. They look pretty cool. Hopefully they break better and last longer than the previous ones. So there we have it. Don't need too many tools. I only needed, what did I need here? I needed this 18 mil socket just to get that one random, one random um, lug nut off. The rest of the, the rest of them were three quarter. So that's, geez, the, the cap on the end of this is, is actually hanging off. You see the, there's like a little chrome cap that goes on the outside of the, the bolt. Maybe that's why that one's a different size, because it's lost its chrome cap. Anyway, um, yeah, there we have it. Pretty much three quarter socket, ratchet, strong bar, impact, and a hammer. And you can take, if you've got the same size lug nuts all around, should be able to take all them off. And that same three quarter will do the caliper bolts and you just remove the little sensor wire from the back slide the caliper off pull the disc off like I said I had to use a bit of penetrating just to loosen it off and then give it a bit of a hit with a with a soft blow hammer and you can see all my stuff is pretty much tool pro stuff it's super cheap autos stuff it's got good warranty with it seems to last okay for what I use and um, it's no big brand snap-on stuff my impact drivers are just Ryobi um, plus one one plus plus one whatever they're called does the job it's it's a brushed it's not a brushless one it's a brushed impact it has three speeds on it um, the newer ones with the with brushless are a lot better a lot more torque so anyway that's pretty much it um, I'll do the other side now I'm not going to video that because it's exactly the same as this side um, as you can see the sweat is absolutely pissing off me that's probably 10 minutes of work to do one side of the car, right? That's, that's how easy it is. Get yourself prepared. Get your jack under the car. Get the jack stand. Have your disc ready. Have all the tools ready. Like I said, I just bring the whole tray of sockets out. And it's, um, it's good to go. And have a drink readily available. There's my drink of choice when I'm not drinking beer. It's um, Blue V. Look at the condensation dripping off that like my head right -o. hope you enjoyed it if you um, want to see more of it just hit the subscribe button hit the like all the likes help um, share it with a mate or share it with a group if you like if it's informative enough for you and again that was a very simple process so any any dumbo can do it if I can do it okay thanks for watching I'll see you next time